Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Georgia Gun Club's 100-yard indoor rifle range, and we're continuing our seating depth test with the Saco 6.5 Creedmoor, and I'll be shooting a couple of different targets. I found a couple of nodes where it looks like the seating depth may be working, and I'm going to do a little bit further testing on those today to see if we can zero in on that node. All right, so we'll be shooting at 100 yards. As always, you're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can skip forward to the results that follow. We will be shooting two separate targets in this study. All right, stay tuned. Alright, so there's one target down. Let's bring it in, take a look, get ready for the next one. Alright, not terribly bad, but not what I was expecting. This was the fouling group. They were kind of all over the place. And these are seated right at 20 thousandths off of the rifling. So let's go to our second target, see how that does. All right, I think we might have found something here, so let's bring them in and take a look. All right, here we go. Between 2.812 and 2.818, we've got three groups that are pretty tight here, especially right here at 2.815. So that's probably what we're going to go with for our seating depth. All right, we'll take them home, measure them, and get back to you with our analysis. There's a link in the description below where I recently shot this set of targets where we were doing a seating depth test. And the first group that I had was 20 thousandths off of the lens. We're shooting 6.5 Creedmoor with H4350 powder at 40.7 grains, traveling at just under 2,650 feet per second. And I had shot this group at 0.33 inches, so I decided to expand on that. And I went back to the range. I shot a fouling group, and then I shot 10 additional shots and that node was not quite as I had expected or hoped. 
On that group, we had an extreme spread of 1.28 inches on 10 shots with a mean radius of 0.43, which a radius is half of a circle. So you double that and that gives you an average group size of 0.86. Not terribly impressive, but not horribly bad either. The area was 1.27 inches wide and 0.57 inches tall. So I think we had pretty consistent velocity there. Uh, but we had an area of 0.72 inches. So shooting under an inch, we were 0.12 to the right and 0.28 above the point of aim. So not terribly bad, but not super impressive either. So we're going to continue to work on these and develop these and get back to you with the results. I found a couple of nodes here that I thought I would expand on. I'm shooting these instead of shooting it 3,000th increments, I'm shooting at 10,000th increments, and I found this node uh, where, where I had a group of 0 0.30 inches, and I was 80 thousandths off of the lens. So I decided to expand on that a bit, and I think I found the node. That particular round had a overall cartridge length of 8.12 inches, so that was the middle group here. And what I did is I backed off three thousandths and six thousandths, and then I added three thousandths and six thousandths to that overall length. And here are my results. On the fouling group, not terribly impressive. We had a group of 1.64 inches. The first group was loaded with an overall length of 2.806 inches, and we had a group of 1.21, and that's the same seating depth as the fouling group. I go to 2.809, it tightens up a little more, it gets to 1.02. I go to 2.812, and it tightens up to 0.43. I go to 2.815, it tightens up a little bit further to 0.36. I go to 2.818, and it's back to 0.47. So I believe this is my node here at 2.815 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load some more of these. I'm going to go out and I'm going to shoot a 10-shot group and see if that's where my node is. And if it is, hopefully we'll have some really good results there with some tight groups. If you have any ideas, thoughts, suggestions, please leave those in the comments below. I try to interact with everybody that comments. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.